and he was and God's timing is the best which leads me to point number five which is the hardest thing to do these are the two hardest things that you will do as a single person and that is to be patient and to trust God patience is the worst I mean it's the best but it's also the worst you know to be patient and to be like oh I don't know when when this is gonna happen like Lord you are the savior of the universe you can bring my spouse now okay we don't know God's timing but his timing is yeah Michelle it's over yeah so it okay. talks about God's timing and um, mm-hmm. and how this is a time to you know develop your trust and have faith in God uh, mm-hmm. so what do you think about first of all tell me uh, what do you think about God's timing like it's very easy to say you know a lot of people can it's tell us <laughs> hey you are not married because you've not met the person you'll meet the right person at the right time day i have been waiting for <laughs> yeah yeah i think uh, go once, back michelle you know okay hmm. i think once uh, you know these it does happen in our life then it's easy to say oh yes all in god's time it happened in god's time but when it hasn't happened yet to to have that trust and faith in god's time i think is as jackie has also said it is very difficult actually it's mm. not easy if you're said than done mm. um but i think this is something that uh, some of us have come to learn and experience over time with different experiences isn't it mm. so uh, each time there's a stronger t- trust in a way a stronger conviction and um, I think our human minds try to uh, you know comprehend uh, when is it going to happen and we try to get all calculative and if this happened then then when will this happen exactly and, um but I think uh, you know but I think god um, is beyond all of that isn't it mm. <laughs> god is beyond um, the way we think uh, as i said our limited human minds and is beyond space and time and um, he knows exactly what uh you know happening at the right time what he's going to do at the right time so until then everyone please please be patient um and in the process of being patient we also have to be prudent as we're being patient um isn't it um work on ourselves and all the areas that we discussed um earlier live your life to the fullest um turn to a life of prayer or fill that a uh, gap with um, all that is of god and uh, you know that is how i guess Uh, living out that patience will will be much more easier mm. and when the time is right um, you know god will god will show i think it's psalm 375 which is commit your ways to the lord and you know in time he will bring it to pass mm. so that is something i guess to hold on to mm. uh, during this time of waiting and being patient <laughs> so yes. uh, one, one uh, example my uh, elders used to tell me right my spiritual elders mm-hmm. so they used to tell me like um there were the uh, two guys were standing in a bus stand and uh, mm. so when the first bus came it was very very crowded so both both these mm. guys were doing going to the same destination so when the first bus came it was very crowded mm-hmm. so this guy what the first guy what he did he somehow got into the bus and he wanted to reach the destination before this guy mm-hmm. okay so uh, so the bus uh, he got into the bus and the bus left and uh, after 15 to 20 minutes the next bus came to the bus stand to the same destination and this guy guy thought okay this guy is going to anyway reach the destination before me what's the point and this bus was even empty it was very comfortable he sat and he was going and eventually mm-hmm. as he saw in the road this bus the w- bus which the first guy got in was so full of crowd it could not you know go beyond a certain speed and this bus was mm-hmm. so empty that it overtook that bus yeah. so sometimes you would have you would, you would think that you've missed the bus in your life and mm-hmm. all the things are going to get delayed because of that but you'll never know mm-hmm. your bus will eventually race uh, the uh, first bus <laughs> so it's a yeah. very consoling story but then yeah yeah i think i'm also reminded of a friend of mine she uh, she's quite fun loving and um i remember this one incident so let's say friend a and friend b okay so friend a has a daughter a little girl she gave birth to a baby and so she tells friend b um and friend b is single okay and she's very happy she's very content with her life so both my friends so friend a tells friend b oh you know um by the time my daughter um by the time you get married you my daughter can be your bridesmaid and she was, and my friend b goes just relax by the time i get married your daughter will be my oh sorry she said my daughter will be a flower girl uh. and she said by the time i get married your daughter will be my bridesmaid i'll take my own sweet time <laughs> <laughs> so she is so content and i just thought of her uh, uh, randomly just now and she's so full of joy uh, being single living her life um, you know at the same time waiting um, in hope and yeah. hi 
Thank you for watching the Song on Fire YouTube channel. Please subscribe to the channel for more Catholic interviews, music and lifestyle videos. If you feel inspired, please click on the Patreon link to contribute and support to the Song on Fire Catholic Ministries. God bless.